Welcome everyone. Today we have a special sponsor, Project Arrival. Project Arrival is a futuristic sci-fi survival game that is going to have their first closed beta test from April 22nd to May 2nd. In this game, you'll get AAA realistic graphics with dynamic landscapes and challenging environments to provide a highly immersive doomsday survival experience. The story of this game takes place in the future Earth where humanity attracted the attention of alien civilizations due to rapid technological revolution and boom, we have an epic interstellar war. We who act as survivors will be starting our journey on Doomsday Earth. There are several safe heavens being set up by our fellow survivors and it is in our hands to work together and restore the Earth to its former glory. In this beta test, we are introduced to a couple of captivating regions with tons of extremely interesting places to explore, like Sandale Valley, Howlin' Gobi, and Eden Gate. Alright, let's start things off by exploring Eden Gate in Project Arrival. So first of all, we're gonna try to charge our weapon before leaving the cabin, let's go. And we're gonna go out from here. And yeah, we're gonna place a car. And we're gonna go in the car. Get out of the car. We're gonna go here. In the teleport, okay. We're gonna scroll to here. Can I click on this? We're gonna go on teleport, okay. Oh, okay, we're gonna go to space comms tower. Okay, let's wait for a little bit while it's loading, but it looks cool with the animation. Okay, we're here. Let's go. Oh, we're gonna place our car. Oh, let's get into our car. We're gonna try to explore for a little bit. Ah, okay. There is a challenge over here. Let's go. Over here. I'm gonna switch to this. Okay, one of this. Control. Alright. Okay, he's coming. Okay, he's coming. The Spore Titan is coming. To the ice sprinkler. Okay. I guess that's how we do it. Oh my god. Okay, we can actually get this material now. Okay, okay. Now let's get more material. Yeah, nothing else. Where? Oh, bushes. Spore shrubs. So let's go. Oops. Okay, here we can get shrubs as well. Mm. Yeah, let's move on to dismantle this thing right here. Okay. And there is that random chest everywhere. Let's see how everything goes. Let's fight this enemy over here. We're gonna use our first skill. Okay, he's dead. Yeah, we're gonna use our second skill. Right. Okay, he's dead as well. Okay, there's another one over there. Okay, he's dead. <laughs> I have no idea what is Corgi doing over there. Not like this. Okay, there is one more enemy over there, gonna use our net. Oh, okay, I think, I think the other enemy got caught or something. Okay. Oh, yeah, gonna shoot the burp over there. Yeah, gonna shoot with our bow. 
there is a few more. You're gonna test other skills. Mm. Hi. Yeah, we're gonna shoot a lot of arrow. Choo -choo 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 -choo. Okay, after explosion, let's go. Yeah, let's try with the grenade launcher. Boom. Explosion. Boom. 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 Yeah, I'm gonna use a skill. Yeah, boom, boom. Yeah, I think it's time to go back. Let's get our car out. Yeah, that was some instant exploration. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, time to teleport home. Let's go. Yeah, I think that's it. We're here back in our base. Yeah, finally. Yeah, hope you guys enjoy the content. Alright, next, let's go through some of the gameplay mechanics that we have in the game. First of all, let's have a look at the talent system. There are two types of talents in this game, which are battle and survival talents. This can be upgraded by completing dailies and questlines in-game. Battle talents upgrade are very useful and will enhance our gameplay when fighting against enemy in general. For example, by upgrading the special combat talent, we will be able to increase our base attack when fighting the enemies. Other battle talents include more passive combat buffs, like reduced weapon and bullet recoils, increased explosive damage caused by grenades, faster reload speed, or increased weakness damage caused by certain weapons such as sniper rifle and bows. Upgrading survival talents on the other hand will allow us to strive in the game's adverse environment much more easily. For example, we can get higher base defense, better sight at night, or a better yield when gathering resources. There are a lot more really useful talents to be discovered, but due to the scarcity of resources, we might need to prioritize certain talents over the others based on what we want to achieve in the game. On top of that, we can have an active pet companion to assist us in battle, just like this cutie corgi wearing sunglasses on top of a hoverboard. If that's not the fanciest little fella you have ever seen, then I don't know what is. You can check its detail with our micro tea. Each pet has its own unique role. One good example is our cutie corgi who has the protector role where he will cast a shield to protect us in battle when he has enough energy to do so. In the current battle test, there are also other pretty awesome pets to play around with such as the duty hound that focuses on a single target enemy, cha cha that focuses on hitting multiple targets, and electric seer that help us in regenerating our shield in battle. We can increase the level of our companion with pet enhancement gels by pressing the plus icon on the right side of the level. This will increase their base stats and also make their skill much stronger as the skills are dependent on the stats. Let's buff up our little friend even more by doing some pet training. This can be used to boost our pet's intelligence, which will make them even stronger. The material for intelligence training can be obtained from Battleland, which will be covered later. Moving on to weapon. In Project Arrival, there are a lot of weapons such as shotguns, grenade launcher, and sniper rifle. Each weapon has their own unique skills. Take this shotgun for example. The first skill will allow us to summon one more shotgun and pretty much dual wield them like a total badass for 10 seconds. Some enemies will even get knocked back when this skill is active, which is very helpful when there are a lot of aliens rushing towards you. We can also hold the second skill to charge the weapon. Upon releasing, we will shoot a missile barrage and the enemy that got hit will be silenced. Find the weapon skills for the sniper rifle very cool, as it allows us to go into invisibility mode or summon a wall that blocks enemy bullets and amplify our bullet damage. 
another cool thing to enhance the gameplay with are a set of codes known as battle codes, which can be set for each of our weapons. For instance, we can choose different cornerstone codes depending on the roles that we are playing in co-op or the enemies that we are fighting. For the common code, after equipping a certain amount of codes of similar kind, we will be able to get extra resonance stats that will further enhance our gameplay. If you are just starting out and not too sure what to equip for the battle code, you don't need to worry about it. You can always just refer to the recommendation provided by the game. There will also be different preset battle codes available for every weapon, such as a crit build, an elemental build, and a shield build for the shotgun for example. We can get recommendations for the attachments as well, but it's kinda limited for this shotgun as there is only one attachment for this weapon. Let's switch to the sniper rifle and have a look. So, as you can see, there are multiple preset attachments available here, and you can pick whichever one that you find more suitable for your playstyle. In the modification system, there are actually a lot of things happening in here as well, and it might be slightly overwhelming at first. In the enhanced section, each slot will provide us with different stat boosts in percentage depending on the stats available on the equipment, which means that if we don't equip anything on that slot, we won't be able to enjoy the stat bonuses from that slot. We will be able to get additional stat boosts when we level up our set level by completing the activation requirement. In the modify section, we can reroll our weapon stats and get better subsets for it. If the stats is rare, there will be an indication of rarity beside the subset. It might be purple or gold. Additionally, chips can be equipped on the equipment here, which will provide even more additional effects and stats on the weapon. By going into the chip library, we can also enhance the chips to higher ranks by using silicon. Silicon is obtainable by dismantling extra chips that we don't need. And lastly, with the empower system, Weapon can be adjusted to have different elemental effects such as fire that apply burning effect on the enemies, ice that freezes the enemies, and shock that triggers explosions. Besides the open world exploration, you can also join intense multiplayer raids with other survivors to defeat epic bosses including aliens, mutant creatures, and mechas for abundant rewards. Another cool multiplayer feature lets you and your friends team up and build your own cozy camp where you can chill out and have fun together. It even lets you unlock additional quests and modes too. After playing this game for a few hours, I have to say I'm really impressed by how in-depth all the enhancement options are. There are so many ways to create your very own unique build which I really like. Also, the battle system is surprisingly strategic. I learned that heedlessly rushing into a mob of enemies will quickly get you killed if you are not careful enough. Always paying attention to your environment and using your skill effectively is the key to victory. That really made the survival experience much more memorable for me. Project Arrival is going to have a closed beta test from April 22nd to May 2nd. If you are an Android player in the United Kingdom and Canada, you may use my link in the description to try out this next generation sci-fi survival game. For followers in other region or platforms, please stay tuned for more exciting updates in the official community of Project Arrival. That's it, fellow survivors, see you in-game.